Welcome to Alton Park. It's round eight of the Thundersport Championships. Just two rounds remaining, including this one. And we are here for the Avon Tires, Super Twins, Stock Twins, and uh, Prillia RRV 450s. Now, pretty much every championship can be wrapped up here in this race. And one pretty much is anyway. On pole position is Johnny Towers. Uh, looking to try and go one better than he did last year. This man here, Greg Madero, try as he may in 2017. It looks like the end of the road in terms of his fight for that title. Johnny Towers, uh, it was going to take a steam train to stop him from winning this. Uh, and in general, in qualifying, he looked pretty sharp as well. Ben Tolliday, second on the grid. That's for the Super Twins. Alex Platt can be crowned stock twin championship a champion here. He just basically needs to score a point, number 43. Uh, so that looks like that one's done and dusted as well. And because uh, Alex Taylor is out there uh, on a 550 Aprilia, so we've got a faller there at turn number one, number 49, David Stiff has gone down. Um, Alex Taylor then out on a 550. That's because Reese Irwin isn't here, his championship contender in the 450s, which means that championship is closed. It's done. It's dusted. Congratulations to Alex Taylor. He is the Aprilia RRV 450 champion. There is a 450 or two out there. to keep an eye out on Thomas Jennings and Mark Harrison. So that's the housekeeping all sorted out. Uh, Johnny Towers, it is the man then who has been in control of this championship for most of the year. And he leads by quite some distance already on this opening lap. 2-2-1 there, a, a rider that you might not have seen too much of this year is uh, Suzuki of Yunan McClinchy, so he's uh, going well. Nice to see Alex Taylor out there on a 550 and at the sharp end as well, Sid. Great bike, aren't they? Because they're so light, you see, they're 125 kilograms, um, but they just, uh, the, because they're not a production bike, uh, they can't be uh, a stock twin. Uh, because there's no stock bike of that ilk, because it obviously derives from a super moto bike, and um, um, so it's got to be a super twin. But I mean, the power differential between something like the the beautiful, beautiful bike uh, that Alex is on, compared with the beautiful, beautiful bike that Johnny Towers is on, you know the. The power differential is vast, um, and it's not made up for by the difference in weight. So I can't imagine that Johnny's bike weighs an awful lot either. There's some beautiful looking machines out there actually, but Johnny Towers on that opening lap is just on fire here. You can see from the conditions it's not perfect. There are some damp patches, we have had rain, so not completely dry. But Johnny Towers doesn't want to just win this championship by scoring the odd point. He wants to win it by winning the race. He wants to make absolutely sure that he does it this time because, of course, last year he lost out of the final round. Uh, agonising defeat to John Simpson in the end on the Trick Bits uh, machine. And speaking of Trick Bits, this man who's just moved up to second on your screen, number 60, Greg Madero, has announced, Sid said it was likely to happen, uh, last time out in Anglesey, has announced that next year he will be riding for Trick Bits. So that's going to give him a bit more of an edge, isn't it? I think it's going to help him no end. I mean, Paul Jenks knows how to put a bike together. And I mean, uh, he had Joey Thompson on uh, the bike at Anglesey. Beautiful machine. Uh, every bit as good as Johnny Towers. So I think the plan is, is to... You know, provided Johnny wants to do it again and defend the oh, title. Oh, speaking of which, Greg Madero going straight on. So easy to do when you're going down into his. So you shouldn't let get me talking about specific riders. It's not good news. Um, yeah. So anyway, if Johnny does do it, I think it'll be a very interesting battle uh, because obviously Greg has got the talent. There's no doubting that. Gregorio Ballesteros Madero has got the talent. That, just for in case you're wondering, you're listening, that is actually his full name, isn't it? Yes, it is, yeah. Because, uh, yeah, if Ballesteros uh, Sevi was an uncle, in fact. Uh, so, uh, yes, it's going to be a very, very interesting championship because Greg just hasn't had the financial resources to put a bike together. His stepdad, Ray, has done an amazing job, um, but he's not been particularly well either, so it'll be lovely for him to take a bit of a step back. Well, I, he maybe won't agree with that, but uh, in reality, it will be nice. Um, and Paul Jinks, 
let me tell you, knows what he's doing. I mean, he obviously was behind the machine that beat Johnny Towers last year. Exactly. So it's kind of a resume in a way. Yeah, well, let's hope Johnny wants to keep at it. I mean, Johnny's a great guy. Oh, brilliant. Um, and a very, very quick rider, uh, JT. Make no mistake. Oh. We saw him on a 600 last year at times as well, and he, he proved just how strong he was. Um, so he's, he, he deserves the championship, but that's not to say that Greg doesn't, because Greg is a really lovely lad as well. In fact, this field in general, the oh, Stock oh, Twins oh, are oh, a bit hot in there. Union McClinchy, but he manages to stay upright for now. Um, he's trying to chase down uh, Johnny Towers. Well, yeah. Pretty much every rider in this class is, is a lovely uh, guy, uh, to be honest with you. There aren't many true, in the field actually. in this class. I was looking through the list. I say guys, there, there's a, a female out there as well. I apologise for that. But you, you get my, you get my drift. I mean, pretty much everyone out there. You know, you've got Alex Taylor there, nice kid. Ben Tolliday, nice kid. Greg Madeira, I've already mentioned, really nice lad. Um, Dan Taylor, well, we've known Dan for a long time, part of the Barnsley crew. And speaking of Barnsley, the beard. Neil Schofield, we love the Schofield family, uh, coming over from Barnsley. Alex Platt, could you could you wish to meet a nicer uh, person off circuit? Hard to believe he's even capable of racing, he's so nice off it. Uh, but yeah, the, the whole field is, is really good. And we should mention, whilst talking about Johnny Towers here, he looks like he's going to roar home to uh, his championship win, although Una McGlinchey is closing down slightly as Greg Madeira goes underneath Alex Taylor, Ben Tolliday following. Uh, that Alex Platt has had a great year as well. And the B&B motorcycle Suzuki rider looks set here to uh, there he is. get his championship. Yeah, he's just there on circuit up ahead of Daniel Kappa, Tim Sayers, Jason Markham. Uh, the beard, Neil Schofield, not having one of his greater outings so far in this race, but it does look like he's closing in slowly here and could oh. wrap up second place in the I've championship. I've been absolutely delighted with the way he's raced this year. He's become a proper, like I've said before, he's moved from a hobby racer to almost a professional racer, the look of him. Um, but Alex Platt, wow, I mean, like, we've seen him step, 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 always got a smile on his face, always pleased to see you, you know, always thanking everybody for everything, proper nice people, as you say. Having said that, Steve, that goes for very much the most of the Thunderstorm GB paddock, really. Well, at the moment you can see here Johnny Towers lead. Eunan McGlinchy on this last couple of laps, he's really got the hooks in, trying to close down. Number 221, uh, the rider from Northern Ireland. We saw him, I think, once earlier on in the season. Now, hang on a minute, what's happened here? Johnny Towers just put his arm up. Eunan McGlinchy goes through. What is going on here? What has just happened is Johnny Towers had a moment that I didn't see. Una McGlinchey goes through on Johnny Towers. Does Johnny just not fancy leading? Does he want, because of the damp conditions? That's very odd. No, I think something happened there and his arm went straight up. He didn't wave him by as such. Maybe just apologising for a moment and I don't know, but either way, Una McGlinchey then leads. Now Una McGlinchey's having a look over his shoulder to see what it's all about. There's obviously something we've missed there, isn't there? Definitely. Uh, yeah. But hey, we could be here all day trying to work out what's uh, happened there. Further back, this is the battle for third and a good one at that. Greg Badiro, Alex Taylor and Ben Tolliday. Ben Tolliday still looking to try and somehow close that gap down to Dan Taylor for third in the Super Twins Championship. Madeiro will not be caught by Dan Taylor, but Dan Taylor really has to focus now on uh, Ben Tolliday. Double points on offer here today as well, as we look there at number three, Ryan Redmond, British Army team rider, up ahead of Daniel Kappa on the Team BGC Suzuki, number 65. I'll tell you what, Steve, I mean, what is interesting, obviously Dan Taylor moved up from Stock Twins last year, and... Uh, Arguably, I mean, he's gone about his business quietly and everything else. And, and you know, to, that's quite a big move up, that is, from Stock Twins to... Um, from was to he not Super in... Twins. I think he was in Super Twins last year as well. It was the year before that he was Stock Twins oh, champion. Oh, sorry, yeah, that's right. He, he, he won the Stock Twins championship, was it back-to-back? -back? Um, when it was known as the Mini Twins, then yeah. Stock Twins. So he won that back-to-back. -back. Then last year, I think he was in the Super Twins... 
I'm but he's pretty done sure really he was, well. Yeah. I mean, if he comes in third... He's had some bad luck, Sid, this he year. He has, but, he's, but I'm saying that to, if he comes in third, uh, you know, the championship, I think he'll have done really, really well. Again, you know, there'll be a limited budget there. Oh, Eunan McGlinchey keeps looking behind him. What's that all about? I don't really know what's happening oh. here between these two. Johnny Towers has gone through on him. I, I, I can't work it out. I mean, unless there's been some words before the race or something. You lead. No, no after you, sir. But I, I don't know. Uh, very, very confusing. Johnny Towers is going to become champion no matter what happens here. So, Eunan uh, McGlinchey, yeah, can't work that out at all. He has been pushing it in this race and I just wonder whether he's had a few warnings as they now make the way out of his ease. Here is uh, Alex Platt then about to be crowned Stock Twins champion. I'm really pleased with the Stock Twins and Super Twin grids actually. You know they're just such a good intermediate class aren't they? Well and an end result for a lot of people. I mean a lot of people just prefer the way that these machines develop the power don't they? Yeah, well, I'm a big fan of the class. It's really grown on me over the last couple of years in particular, and we've seen some fantastic races as well. Um, and I think it will only grow. I mean, if Johnny stays, Greg's on the trick bits bike, a few others get a bit quicker, who knows what. Well, that we'll was see. something I was going to say as well, you know. Uh, you might think that uh, uh, Greg Madero just wants to get his name on the overall winner's trophy of Super Twins. That's not the case. He wants to beat Johnny. Yeah. So he wouldn't want Johnny to step back and then go, yeah, all right, I'm the, I'm the champion. He wants to get her by beating Johnny Towers and, indeed, anybody else who's out there. And I think that does make the championship more meaty and more, uh, you know, more, more wonderful to win, doesn't it? It does, yeah. And as we said, these bikes are good. And it's not the most expensive actual way of to go and race no. either. No. I, I'm not saying it's the cheapest. We've obviously got Thunderbolt 500, but you can run uh, a 650 a uh, lot less uh, money per season than a 600. Well, I'm also on the brink of getting most of the tyre manufacturers to bring out the exact right tyre for this bike, because sometimes they're on not the right tyre. They're on like a 600 rear wheel. Ooh. Black marker there, gone in the way. That's allowed McGlinchey through to lead up ahead of Johnny Towers. There's still the fight for third, though, led by Ma, uh, Madeira. Sorry, you were saying so once, Well, once we can get all the manufacturers to make the right tyres for this class, then I can get them arguing against each other. Then I can get the prices down. And that's, that's what... And so I could effectively... You know, when, once a, a championship becomes popular, like the 500s, for example... Uh, look, do you see the speed that Johnny got out of there? Unbelievable, wasn't it? Fair play to him. Really got on the power early there, out of Lodge Corner over Deer's Leap, and he goes up ahead of Eunan McGlinchey once more. Johnny's having that a real bit of fun there, Steve. here. Look, I mean, it's br big and brave, you know. It's not dry out there by any means. Johnny taking a defensive line into Cascades. That might just allow Eunan McGlinchey to get on the power on the cutback. Further back here is Madeiro, Toliday and Alex Taylor. They're fighting it out for third in this race. We're getting to the closing stages of race one here in the Super Twins. Here is your race leader then, Johnny Towers. They're coming up on some more traffic now. You and McGlinchey there just behind. Traffic coming up then as they make their way around Britain's chicane. And Union seemed to be good for uh, selecting the right line through traffic, didn't he? Oh, this is Look at this here, look. Interesting, though. You're on a different way round. Oh, no, it's not. One goes on the outside, one goes on the inside. Oh. McGlinchy here, when he gets the bike stopped, he chucks it into his. He's got a tight line there. He manages to stay upright for now. And then we throw it right again. He's trying to find a way of getting closer. I thought he might have overcooked that one. Here is Madeiro. He's still up ahead of Alex Taylor and Ben Tolliday, but positions continue to change between these three. They're having proper fun out here at Alton Park as the circuit gradually starts to dry. But as Sid said, still a lot of dat patches. Down the back straight we go here. I say back straight, but it's sort of a bit of a curve kink, isn't it, from Druids down to Lodge Corner. And Johnny Towers, what a lap this has been from uh, the champion elect out of the final corner over Deer's Leap we go once more he's asking questions here of Una McGlinchey and the last lap flag goes out Johnny knows that this is the race where he could be crowned champion he wants to win it uh, that's the championship by winning this race Una and McGlinchey. not bin it <laughs> right, exactly McGlinchey though well if he's going to win this race he's got to find about a second now because Towers across the line 
has really upped the ante. A 147.360 is the fastest lap of the race from Johnny Towers. And I can tell you that despite the damp conditions, that is only eight tenths of a second off the lap record set by Bradley Peary uh, in this class. There's Alex Taylor and Ben Tolliday. What's happened to Greg Madeiro there? Madeiro was not part of that picture. So Madeiro has gone missing. Well, that means that no matter what happens here, even if Towers was to stack it, he's champion. So many congratulations to Johnny. Uh, it looks like he might just win this race as well as they head out over the hill, breaking now down into his. He's, there's the, the beard, Neil Schofield. You don't see that very often. He's being lapped there by Johnny Towers, breaking now down into his. He's... Oh, oh! and Yuna mclinchy has gone. He's gone down. I'll tell you what, I hope he's okay, but he's had a few warnings down into there. <laughs> yes, that was going to happen, will it? He has had a couple of warnings, Una McGlinchey, but it was a good effort nonetheless. The Northern Irishman is up. He's OK. Marshall's checking him over. And a, a nice little dig into the grass there. A slightly softer landing than other places, that's for sure, around Alton Park. But, well, unfortunately, the bike cries no more. Johnny Towers then. He looks over his shoulder. Nothing to worry about now. Greg madeiro has gone out of the race, I can confirm doesn't really matter because this man's done it congratulations johnny towers he's celebrating already he's the <laughs> super twins champion of 2017 agonizingly missing out last year he's got the job done here and uh, look at the relief i think that's what you could call it uh, and the celebrations uh, there thumbs up play. for jt he's been at thundersport now for what three years more than that maybe more than that but he's finally now got himself the championship fantastic stuff from him Thumbs up for JT. He wins it from Alex Taylor on the Aprilia 550. Well done to him. Ben Tolliday was third. Dan Taylor, fourth. Jonathan Perry, fifth. And congratulations also to Alex Platt, who is the Stock Twins Championship champion for 2017 as well. All three of them done then. Towers, Taylor, Tolliday there. Platt, Redmond, Kappa in the Stock Twins. And it was Tom Jennings, the winner in the RRV 450 as well. There's smiles all round here in this uh, paddock with three champions crowned. So congratulations to Alex Taylor as well, the 450 champion. One more race still to come, despite champions being crowned. Join us again in a minute. Race two here at Alton Park, the Avon Tyres Super Twin Stock Twins, the Prillia RRV 450s. We have our three champions of the class. There's Johnny Towers on pole, 17, is uh, the champion of Super Twins. All done. And uh, same for Alex Platt. You can see him on row two there with a the number one on his bike. So congratulations to him. And uh, likewise to Alex Taylor, number six. Sorry, number nine. Uh, he's out on a 550 today as a super twin, but here's the Aprilia RRV 450 champion. Red flag up at the front. There's still a bit of uh, deciding to do in terms of other positions in championships for the super twins. Greg Madeiro will be the runner-up for this year. Third place will be either uh, Dan Taylor or Ben Tolliday, but Ben Tolliday has had Dan Taylor's number so far today. It's double points on offer as well, and that one... I think no matter what happens here today, we'll go on to the finale at Donington to decide third between the 133 of uh, Ben Tolliday and the number 26 of Dan Taylor. Nice to see the number one on the bike there of uh, Alex Platt, Stock Twins champion. Not a lot of riders decide to opt uh, for that number one. They're a bit superstitious, but I like seeing it on a motorcycle. Una McGlinchey's back out despite his crash earlier on, number 221, although. He's got a bit of work to do in the early stages of this one. Johnny Towers is away already. 
and trying to open up a lead and it looks like Sid anyway that it has dried up a bit since race one definitely definitely dried up and with the championships under their belts I just wonder if uh, they will throw caution to the wind uh, we may well have a fantastic race on our hands not that the last one was brilliant to be fair uh, and everything hung on that race as far as championships are concerned but um, I just you know you, you always feel you know once you've got the championship the likes of Jenny Johnny Towers a lot of them just think do you know what I'll just throw the bike in here there and everywhere and like do what I want well in fact yeah he is look well, look at the state of that I was going to say he could let his hair down but there's yeah. not a lot to let down oh, bless him. Before, no, no. no but he's a, he's a great rider and he's going to prove it here I reckon you've seen it so many times before when the pressure's off um, and a rider just sort of relaxes on the bike what can happen well that's right and uh, as we've always said it is all in the head and uh, it's, it's really a shame that you can't sort your head out to to, to you know to go with the bike if you sort the machine out if you could sort your head out as well that'd be lovely wouldn't it nice to see there Jonathan Perry number 42 yeah uh, once a regular in this championship and a contender and a race winner he's been sort of in and out of the championship this year on various different machinery he hasn't committed to necessarily to a particular championship but uh, didn't he have a big off last year he did he yeah he's a more than capable rider Jonathan oh, Perry yeah that was right it was Crane of curves on the first of two warm-up laps, weren't it? I think, yeah, maybe. And he right. dumped a big stall. I think that wrecked the machine. I tell you what, Jonathan Perry, on a competitive oh, uh, 650 totally in this championship, could easily contend. Fast. Could easily contend. We've seen it before. Uh, so we look there at uh, Alex Taylor. Alex Taylor's proving here that you know what, if he was to stay on a 550 next year, or if he was to get on a 650, that he might just uh, fancy a little go at this. There's Yuna McClinch, he's got past Greg Madero, both of those guys looking to finish this race. They didn't manage it last time. And there are a couple of uh, Stock Twins champions you're looking at, number one and 26. The new and current champion, Alex Platt, and the former double champion, Dan Taylor, just up behind him. Dan Taylor's just gonna have to settle for being beaten by Ben Tolliday today and uh, take it to Donington Park and see what he can do there. Towers, he's just flying away here. Um, that's the lead that he's got already from Taylor, Tolliday and McGlinchey, who's now starting to close in on uh, Taylor in the second place. There is uh, Greg Madero then, crushed out. Well, I say crashed out, didn't see him. Don't know what happened, he might have had a mechanical. But he was out of that first race. Number two there is Stephen Taylor, a Stock Twins rider. I should just point out that just by finishing this race, uh, the beard, Neil Schofield, will be uh, cementing his position as the runner-up in the Stock Twins. Uh, oh, amazing. Provided he stays on the machine. Provided <laughs> he uh, stays on. <laughs> that, yeah, that one would be wrapped up, and it looks very much like then uh, that third there place. Is. There he is. On cue. The beard. <laughs> there he is. In fact, he's just up ahead of number two there, Stephen Taylor who uh, is coming into this round third in the championship but that's not sewn up by any stretch Jason Markham uh, and Joseph Thomas could still have a say in that so Stephen Taylor with a bit of work still to do to guarantee himself third but the beard uh, from Barnsley could get the runners up spot tied up and that will be just about well yeah basically what it will mean is third in the two's championships uh, Super Twins and Stock Twins will go to Donington Park. But that would be an amazing year for him, I think. More than he could ever have wished for, really. Yeah, I would probably agree with that. Um, and what it does mean, of course, is that the... Uh, the I mean, to be fair, even if Neil Schofield wasn't to finish in the top three of the championship, uh, it would take something rather impressive to stop them from turning up at the presentation evening, I'm sure. Yeah. Um, but as it happens, they've got every reason and good reason to turn up because they'll have silverware to pick up probably be a bloody army of them <laughs> of, the, of that I have little doubt because of course Dan Taylor if he finishes in third in the Super Twins he's part of that crew now as well just saw there a moment ago number 21 uh, out there that's uh, Nicole Lynch from the Republic of Ireland it's a fair old uh, distance to travel although I can think of uh, longer distances you wouldn't want to go from Republic of Ireland all the way to Snetterton would you in, uh, in, in a day's work but Nicole is out there at the moment it's been jostling going on there between Tolliday and Yonan McGlinchey McGlinchey we saw in race one can be a bit twitchy at times but he's got speed that's for sure 
He's not afraid, is he? Ben Tolliday's just thinking, I don't like you. I don't like the <laughs> fact that you've turned up here and are taking precious points away from me. I'm trying to get third in the championship here. McGlinchy here, though, around the outside into Ireland. Ben, that is big and brave. And then he goes up ahead of Alex Taylor. So McGlinchy now up into second place again. I'm afraid, Sid, he ain't going to catch Johnny Towers. And I'll tell you why. Towers has just gone across the line. A 46.212. Uh, on that last lap for Johnny Towers. That's Not only is he the champion, it's the lap record. Yeah. Uh, he has beaten Brad Peary's 46.5 My good by well, 310. And you know, the funniest thing is that was a fast lap by Brad Peary. I remember it re really well. And But uh, the funniest thing is, if you look at like the likes of Dan Taylor um, and the, the like, who's on doing like 150, it's dead. And on a stock twin, he was doing 148 twos. Yeah. Um, so it goes to show you that that the probably the the conditions aren't up to it. So the fact that that Johnny Towers has actually stuck in that record is like well, well done, Johnny. Right. I 100% agree with you. It's not a morning that you would have woken up to this morning at Alton Park with the wind blowing, with the damp patches that you'd say to yourself, lap records are going to be broken here today. <laughs> no, you'd think that you're going to be miles off. And I think probably two seconds off is about right. So to go and beat it is unreal. And no, no matter what any rider tells you, they are lying if they tell you they don't like lap records. They are liars. They love taking lap records. Their name gets put in the website, gets put in the programs. It's an important aspect to the racing. The records stack up. They love it. It's really funny. I mean, I know it happens to be our closest circuit, but universally, I can remember when they don't do it so much now, but when the old Snetterton circuit was um, being used, it was always how everyone uh, set their speed or how fast they were raced. It was your Snetterton lap record. And, and everybody's used to say it, and they don't know. I still do. <laughs> <laughs> I, go, <laughs> I go down the pub. I did a, I did a, a 111.7 at Snetterton <laughs> Old Circuit. No one knows what the hell I'm talking about, but I'm still using it anyway. Um, I still measure myself <laughs> by those old lap times at Snetterton. You're right, there used to be a lot of people that measured themselves by that. And Brands Hatch as well. Um, you always wanted to be a member of the under 50 club at Brands. You wanted to get into the 49s I or lower. I remember that, yeah. Um, things have come on a bit since then um, when you consider the lap times that are being done. Aren't super bikes at the moment doing 43s around there or something like that? Oh, something daft. Oh, ridiculous. Uh, anyway, Towers is the lap record holder. He's the champion. It's a pretty good day by all accounts. Of course, let's not forget that Johnny had a, a big part to play at Thundersport before he was racing as well, Sid. Um, oh, yeah, he's a big sponsor. Sponsor of uh, a couple of championships over the years. Which he's always welcome to come and do again, of course. Oh, we do there's a massive plug well, from Sid. Welcome him with open arms, well, yeah. Well, well done, John. RST here's, your, here's your championship trophy. <laughs> and here's the bill. And your, lap, your lap record. <laughs> How about sponsoring a championship? <laughs> oh, well, you can tell that Sid has still got the car salesman in it. <laughs> <laughs> I can't help it. Um, but no, he, 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 you know, I mean, he sponsored us. Uh, actually, very much more when we needed it the most, uh, which was in the earlier days. And uh, then after that, because he, he sponsored, uh, I think it was Golden Era Superbikes um, for a couple of years there. And then um, it was the RRV 450 GP Championship with uh, Ian Newton that he also sponsored. So. Um, no, he's done. He's done his job. He's done a fine job, to be honest with you. Really good. Thank you, Johnny, and well done, sir. I have to say, if this was a horse race, of course, Johnny Tower would be the uh, race favourite. He's he's the Frankel of this at the moment. He's absolutely away. But if you were betting without Johnny Towers, you wouldn't want to put money on this on fight, this, would no. you? For second place, what a ding dong this is. Unan McGlinchey at the front of it, then Alex Taylor, Ben Tolliday, he's up there as well. Dan Taylor, Jonathan Perry, number 42. He's Ooh. getting warmed up into things as well. I'll tell you what, it's very interesting, very tasty. Good stuff. The only person missing from this group is Greg Madeira. I don't know if he's got any problems with his bike, but he just can't hold on to the pace of this lot at the moment. And behind him, uh, a bit further back. Uh, but inside the top 12 overall is Tim Sayers, number 40 there. I'm wondering now whether he's waved the white flag, you know, Greg, on with you know going for the champ. Well, he, he hasn't waved the right white flag because he's 
he's lost the championship or he, he can't win it but maybe he wants to sell the bike particularly with yeah. the Paul Jinx deal. Yeah, in, yeah, yeah. You're not you wrong know. there. We've seen that a few times before, haven't we? I don't want to crash the bike I've just sold. Um, but yeah, so you could be absolutely spot on there. This is the fight for second. Still raging on. Alex Taylor here doing a fantastic job. He is. On that Scott Motorcycles Aprilia 550. He's, of course, riding with the confidence of knowing that he's got a championship trophy to pick up at the end of the year. Further back here is a decent battle between Ryan Redman, number three. Jason Markham, number... 96 as well. Those two have been difficult to separate for most of uh, of this year. That uh, that Aprilia will probably be 20 horses or more down. But on the 650s. Yeah. Yeah. We have seen 550s win at this level. I reckon Johnny Towers is like very close to the 100 brake horsepower. I reckon that's mighty close, if not over. <laughs> Sid, come on. What? You can't take away the genius that is Johnny Towers. No, I'm not year. saying. No, you've got to ride the thing. Don't, no, it, Johnny has been a genius. I'm just saying. But it's a well-sorted machine. Um, but, and as I say, the, I reckon, I don't know. I don't know. These, these are completely off the top of my head, just watching what I'm watching. But I'd say that that 550 Aprilia is probably near... So it was about 70, 72, I reckon, but it only weighs 125 kgs. And it, what, it, what is the brake horsepower limit for the class? There is no brake horsepower oh, okay, limit. Okay, fair enough. Well, there we are. Of course, for those wondering, as the last lap flag goes out, the difference between Super Twins and Stock Twins, it is purely the fact that the, the Stock Twins are Stock 650s. Yeah, it? well, they're Stock, they, yeah, they've got to be a Stock and they've got to be a Twin. Hence, you can run a CB500 in it. If you want to, Richard uh, Molnar. Molnar did, didn't he? Yeah. That's, but that, that's that flag for the rest of the field then, and this is the battle still for second place between the uh, 550 Aprilia of Alex Taylor. You imagine if that did have a bit more power, that 550. I don't think you could bore them out anymore, but, you know, it, I mean, that would be some machine, you know, for this. As I said before, we've had 550s winning races at this level. Will Hodgson, Sam Wilford, they used to be uh, yeah. menacing on the 550s. Yeah, did, yeah. Here, Wilford won more than a few uh, Super Twins. Super Twin champion, Ooh. wasn't he? Ooh. So, he knows how it's done on a 550. Um, but yeah, Alex Taylor is doing a, a fantastic job on it, whatever you say. Una McGlinchey, though, has gone up ahead of him in this fight for second place. Uh, Johnny Towers is 25 seconds further up the road. And for the last like, couple of laps, he's been cruising. Seconds. He's absolutely dominated the field here today. And it's going to take 100 points to add to his growing tally. He could end up, and probably will end up, winning this championship by over 200 points. Which wow. is um, very, very impressive. Checkered flag is being made ready for him. These guys are just over making their way over Clay Hill, and he's already got his thumbs up there. Johnny Towers, <laughs> it's made light work of this, hasn't he? Champion, lap record holder, well done. Johnny Towers does it. Across the line we go. Checkered flag out, and uh, well, he'll be celebrated for some time before we wait for those who are coming across the line to take second. Bit of flair there from Mark on the checkered flag. Doing a bit of Sid there. <laughs> Team Edge. RST clothing, trick moto really? on the side of the bike as well, and he's done it. Here's the fight for second. It does go to Una McClinchy, but it was close. Ben Tolliday there finished in third. Oh, did you be. see that as well? Blimey. Very close. Dan Taylor there and Jonathan Perry side by side across the line. They were fifth and sixth. Alex Taylor on the 550 ended up finishing in fourth. Ben Tolliday's third, by the way. That means that the gap between him and Dan Taylor closes in the fight for third. There is J JT then. A little bow from him, done the job. Alex Platt won again in the Stock Twins. He's the champion. The Beard, by the way, Schofield has wrapped up the runners-up spot. And in the 450s uh, in that particular race there, Thomas Jennings and Mark Harrison. Championship standings. Wow, it's, it is really getting to be rather silly. It's well over 200 points his lead at the moment. Johnny Towers. Uh, he's the champion from Greg Madero, Dan Taylor, still with work to do to wrap up third. And there is confirmation of Alex Platt, winner in Stock Twins from Neil Schofield. Jason Markham has now moved into third place overall ahead of Stephen Taylor. 
And in the RRV 450s, a confirmation that Alex Taylor is champion. Second place still open. Uh, no Reese Irwin means Thomas Jennings could lift himself up into the runners-up spot when we get to Donington Park. That's it from us here at Alton. We'll see you for the uh, finale at Donington Park next time out.